Hey the friends, tonight I'm gonna show you guys something I have never shown you before. All of my loose skin after losing 130 pounds. I've shown it a little bit before, but never this much. I've been really insecure about it until now, and I really want to show people who are kind of like, well, is it worth it? What about the loose skin? For me, it was totally worth it to lose the weight because I would much rather have loose skin than be where I was with a lot of health problems at 275 pounds. And it took me 24 months to lose the 130 pounds or two years. I lost my first 50 pounds in three months and that's where my loose skin started. And then my weight loss leveled off and I lost about one to two pounds steady a week. I think me and Nicole have talked about this before. If we would have lost it, kept up that pace, which really was fast. insane at the start, because I've lost 130 pounds as well. Mm -hmm. And it took me about two years, the same amount of time. But if we would have kept up that fast weight loss, we would have had much, much more, I think. Yes. Loose skin. I think so too. And before I show you the loose skin, when I was 19, I actually had a chest reduction. And so after I had the reduction, I gained more weight and I actually stretched my chest back out. When I lost the weight, I think when they reshaped it during that surgery, it actually saved my chest a bit, the shape. And it's stretched out and I do have loose skin in the chest area, but it's not as stretched as it could have been had I not had that surgery. And both me and Nicole, when we were heavier and still now, we carry most of our weight and still remaining body fat in our stomach. Yes, so you will see like, I'm gonna show you my loose skin everywhere. You're gonna see I still do have a little bit of belly fat um, so let's start with my face. My face was really stretched out. So I've got some under my chin, like right here. I notice it a lot. Not too much on the face though. And then on my neck, just a bit like here and there. And then I noticed like when I lost weight, this started getting more prominent, like these lines here. And then um, starting with my arms. So I do have quite a bit of loose skin and stretch marks. Like you can see the stretch marks there loose skin on my arms. And actually, if you look, um, there's like loose skin over my elbows, so it kind of like droops a little bit there. There's some loose skin here on the sides. Like, um, no matter what I do with this, this is loose skin, so it can't, nothing will tone up unless I get surgery for that. And then I'll show you. So here I have like stretch marks, if you see, and then my loose skin kind of like hangs over like that and you see like there's all these stretch marks and so this is all loose skin here okay so this is all my loose skin you can see it hanging most of it in my belly area it's all here hanging at the very end and i do like i said have some belly fat but mostly all this stuff that you see sagging is stretch marks and loose skin i'm going to show you so the backs of my legs my legs were really stretched out and I had a lot of weight in my legs, so you can see like some of these lines here are just because my legs, when they bounced back, they still are stretched out a little bit. And there's like, this part is some loose skin here. And then I have a lot on my inner thighs. And I don't know if you can see the stretch marks. There's a lot on my inner thighs here. And I do have some around my knees too as well. And then I have a little bit of like, my calves are just naturally big, but there is like a little bit of loose skin around there. But mostly I have it around my stomach and around my legs. Do I get a little bit self-conscious sometimes? Sure, like sometimes I look at my stomach or like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a lot of stretch marks on my chest area. And sometimes like I'll look in the mirror and I'll flex and I'll go, hmm, I wish that wasn't there. But when I think back to being 275 pounds and struggling with my health and having brought my health that bad where I was suffering with sleep apnea and plantar fasciitis, I would much rather have loose skin any day of the week. 
And like I said, it took 24 months to lose 130 pounds. And then I was small, but I did have a lot of flap and loose skin. So I decided I'm not in the position to afford surgery. We often will get asked like, do you guys want to have weight loss surgery? So I'm not in the position to afford it, but also recovery time is quite long. And I don't really know if I want to go through that recovery time. And we're in Canada. They only pay for medical surgeries here. So people say, oh, you're in Canada. You get everything for free. No, this, no, would, this would, would be cosmetic because it's not causing Nicole any medical problems. No. It was on her chest reduction surgery. It was causing back and other medical skin issues. So that's why she had that covered. Yes, but the loose skin itself is not causing medical issues. So I don't really wanna go through the recovery time at this point. So what we decided to do was change the composition of our body by building muscle. When we built muscle, we were able to fill out a lot of the loose skin. So like when I flex, you can see like my muscle fills out a lot of it and there's just a little bit left there. Yeah, like if we and didn't build muscle for the last couple of years, our loose skin would be hanging a lot, lot more. Way more. And the same with like my legs, like it looks a lot smoother at the backs of my legs than it used to because of the cardio and the leg days that I do and the muscle that I built on my legs before there was a lot more hanging, a lot more of those like stretch marks and lines at the back. So I used to weigh 275 pounds. I was a size 24 pant. Now I'm a size five pant and I weigh 145, 146 pounds. And I am 5'4 and my age is 37 in case you guys are wondering. It is totally worth it to lose the weight for your health and the loose skin actually reminds me of how far I've come and I'm so proud of myself for saying, hey, self, I love you. It's time to get healthy and you're worth it. And why I was able to lose the weight and I've kept it off for six years is because I started to appreciate my body for where it was at. I loved it where I was at when I was 275 pounds and I love it now. And I appreciate how far it's come and how much it has bounced back after I was heavy and had a lot of health problems. Now it has helped me be fit. It allows me to do cardio and to build muscle and fill out the loose skin. And every time I see the loose skin, sure, sometimes I might get self-conscious, but then I remember, wow, look how far I've come and I'm worth it. And this journey was totally worth it. And I really don't think I'm ever gonna get the skin surgery because I really do love my body for where I'm at. And I just want you to know it is worth it, guys. Your health is worth it. You are worth it. Just love yourself, appreciate your body for what it can do for you. Most days, the loose skin is, isn't even on our minds. We're focusing on loving life, on moving our bodies, on our food. We love what we're doing, we love life. We feel so good about ourselves and in our bodies. And the loose skin, it's not even really on our radar anymore. If you wanna know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides and the links are down below. Exact meal plans, portion controls, portions, family friendly recipes, it's all there. We have two low calorie recipes in the Power 13 cookbook. We got two videos here to help you on your weight loss journey. So the friends, I love you. We are here for you. It is totally worth your health to do this journey to lose the weight, to love what you're eating and love your body while you're losing the weight. Appreciate your body for what it for what it can do for you and live your life and love your life. And we love you and we're here for you and this, it is possible, you can do this. We love you. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it, you can do it. Don't give up.